Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Back to Matthew chapter 5 as we continue the Beatitudes. <clears throat> this time we're going to be looking at verse number 7. The Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Now let's get some definitions clear here of what mercy is and the difference between mercy and grace. So mercy is not getting something bad or negative that we deserve. And <clears throat> grace is giving something or getting something that is uh, good that we don't deserve. So, for example, because of our sins, we deserve to be eternally separated from our Creator, who cannot be with sin. But we have obtained mercy from the Lord uh, as He died on the cross for our sins. And uh, once we have accepted that free gift of Jesus Christ, then we no longer have to be separated from God. We no longer have to suffer the punishment of our sin because of what Jesus did. And, and so the withholding of that punishment, that is mercy. Grace is being able to enter heaven and be with the Lord, uh, even though we don't deserve it. That's something good, and it's because of the cross. Uh, and that's the grace of God, have, you know, re receiving something from him, eternal life uh, through Jesus Christ. Not of our own works, but of what Jesus did for us. That's grace. So, <clears throat> mercy, let's be honest with ourselves here. We all would love to have mercy applied to us, right? When the police officer pulls us over for speeding, we want him to exercise mercy, right? We don't want to have that speeding ticket, even though, yeah, we, we probably deserved it. We were speeding. Uh, but, but we, in our hearts, are wishing for mercy. Uh, <clears throat> you know, when we make a mistake at work or we don't meet a deadline or whatever, we, we want our boss to have mercy on us and overlook that, right? Everybody wants mercy, in their lives. Uh, in fact, we probably seek mercy and desire to have mercy applied to our personal lives, probably on a daily basis. Don't even realize it, right? Um, so many things that that we deserve as direct consequences from uh, what we have done, whether it's our sin or, or a mistake or whatever. And uh, on a regular basis, God gives us mercy. And, <clears throat> you know, as, as, uh, as Christians, of course, we must ask ourselves that if we are constantly, daily, regularly asking for mercy and desiring mercy from God uh, and other people, then we must ask ourselves, how much mercy are we giving out? Right? Does it does it match the amount of mercy that we are receiving? If we were honest with ourselves, right? The Bible says, "Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy." <clears throat> you know, this verse to me sounds an awful lot like a commandment. I know, uh, you know, it's 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 a teaching of Christ and he's trying to encourage us, but it almost sounds authoritative, uh, you know, where it's, it's, it's like he's saying, do you want mercy in your life? Well, then you have to give mercy. That's the, that's how you can get mercy. Um, <clears throat> you know, God will extend, uh, mercy, um, especially to those who are themselves merciful. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, again, and I, I know I've been saying this every single uh, day of the devotional that we've been covering the Beatitudes, but we are his children. He expects these things from us. He expects you and I as children of God to be merciful, 
just like we expect him to be merciful to us, right? When we cry unto him and need something from him. Uh, so, you know, as much as we expect mercy from God, people should rightfully be able to expect mercy from us being his children. I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sabbath, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.